real quick. I'm gonna start. All right. We are officially recording because I don't want to miss this for the for the members. Cool. Yeah. So I mean, DATS Tosh, if you pull up the daily chart, let's kind of review it, right? Yeah, buddy. One sec. So here's a year chart, guys. Let me let me take off these lines. These are pivot points. Let me just take these off. Yeah. Uh, so he, oh, hold on. So if you look at the daily chart, it had its first initial move up to 1850 because it was a sympathy play to CEI. So CEI was running, and this was kind of the sympathy play. This was the side play. This was the play that uh, the CEI pumpers were pumping that as like the next one or whatever. When CEI tanked, you know, pretty much 50% or more, this DATS tanked 50% or more to $7, right? And then all of a sudden, just pretty much out of nowhere, it seems, they started repumping it. And you have to think to yourselves, why the hell are these guys that just pump this stock up to $18? It just tanked. Why are they repumping it? What is the reason here? And it's not that they're just pumping it saying, okay, whatever. They're very aggressively pumping it. They're going from, it's going from eight to 11, then 11 to 13, then 13 to 15, then 15 to 17. And you have to think to yourself, why, right? Why, what is the reason that they're pumping this, right? And we found out today that there was a PR catalyst. So I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty clear to me that these pumpers knew about the PR catalyst ahead of time, loaded up the boat ahead of time, and used today's PR with the elevated volume yep. to have an event to be able to sell into. So that, guys, is called insider trading. It is illegal, right? That's the it's number so, one, it, that's it number one thing that you have to trade. make note of. Dude, it felt so it, it didn't it, Alex, didn't it feel this time like like on a different level of orchestration? Like, dude, it felt like it was really calculated. And you have to remember, guys, that the reason why the stock was moving was not any PR, it was not any catalyst previous to today. The catalyst for this stock moving previously to today was a bunch of pump tweets. Tweets, right? These nothing material, nothing legitimate, nothing of substance. So whenever these guys started tweeting, there was an algo that picked up their tweets. Every time they tweeted, a million shares worth of volume went on the tape. Yep. And all of a sudden, these pumpers, these manipulators, started tweeting the stock and started jamming up and jamming up and jamming up. Yep. There's two problems with this stock here. Problem one was that it already topped out last week. This is not a fresh play. This is just a dead cap bounce. If this was a fresh play, if it was a new ticker, if it didn't already top out at 18, it might have gone crazier. The problem was that there were so many other longs that were stuck, so many believers, so many people thinking that it was going to go to 30, that the stock was long crowded. That was number one. Um, number two, guys, is this is a sell the new setup, right? So the previous sell the new setup that we had, I posted it above here. I'll post it again in MIC chat. But the previous one that we had that I remember that we made some content on was the uh, Virgin Galactic SPCE sell the new setup. So there was uh, an event where I think they were going to go to space for the first time or, or something like that. They were going to go to space for the first time and then the, the stock kept running up, running up, running up into that event. And the moment that event was over, the catalyst was over and the run was over. So it's the same thing for this DATS. DATS ran three or four days in a row with no news, no catalyst, no PR. And then the day that they PR today, the day that everyone is the most hyped up about it, I mean, how much higher could it go? It already doubled in a week. You know what I'm saying? So people... Yeah. People didn't really realize or the longs didn't really realize that today was their signal to sell. And we had a couple, a couple of hints, right? Uh, hint number one was that when these pumpers tweeted, the stock rejected for the previous three days that these pumpers were tweeting about it, the stock ramped up. It just so happened that today there was more supply. There was more selling because whoever was involved in buying this few days ahead of time wanted to sell today, right? And that was number one. So you, our, our catalyst was, it was a potential sell the news. What would confirm the sell the news? It would be selling, it would be rejections, it would be failed tweets. 
Now to top it all off, guys, we had a second catalyst. The second catalyst was a first red day setup. So when you can combine two of these strategies together, when two of these strategies line up the same way, whether it be a first red day setup and a sell the new setup, or whether it be a, uh, it could be, I don't know, it could be a, I don't know, like a short into resistance coupled with, you know, an offering hitting, it could be anything, right? When you have two things that set up, it doesn't happen often. Maybe it happens once a year where two of our setups combined together. That is a huge potential signal and a huge potential opportunity. And that is why I sized up today on DATS. I was looking for a first red day setup to my surprise, to my excitement, to my uh, understanding when we had a PR catalyst that came out after this, that to me, guys, was the ultimate signal. So that's the first thing that I want to talk about is what a sell the new setup is. So to recap, a sell the new setup is when a stock goes up for a few days in a row, let's say three to five days in a row, either anticipating a PR or waiting for a PR. And then when that PR hits, all of those people that were pumping it, manipulating it, buying it ahead of time, now have a reason to sell into the new clueless buyers that do not know any better. That's the sell the new setup. Alex, uh, Alex have, can I just interject for one second? Sure. And get, hey guys, 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 to, to add to that, it's not necessarily just the PR, a sell the new setup is a forward looking event. It could be any sort of forward looking event that, that people are are using as a catalyst to hype the stock up. So whenever you have a forward-looking event, and when that event comes, usually there's a sell the news. So it doesn't have to be a PR, remember that. It could be anything. It could be like a day that, so keep that in mind. Like if someone's pumping, like, oh, this day's coming, something's gonna happen. And when that day happens, usually it takes, so. Yeah, yep. and it's, it's another example would be like, sometimes these, this is uh, like pharmaceutical trials. They say like, okay, we're gonna release our numbers on December the 10th. In anticipation of December the 10th, the stock goes up, goes up, goes up. They have great numbers, but all of a sudden the stock goes down and that's a sell the news event. But stuff like what I said, stuff like what Bao said are the ones that are more predictable. The farmer ones are a little bit more up in the air, but they're just another example. Exactly, man. And just to give you guys literally the most layman's terms, because I know we probably have even 16-year-olds watching. Dude, even Dogecoin was a sell the news. When Elon Musk finally went on SNL, that was the day it crumbled. Like, So it doesn't matter what sector niche, it's a forward-looking event. And when that event comes, that's when the people have the sell-off. So Exactly. And the big thing that uh, Brock also mentioned as well is the catalyst was not a good catalyst, guys. They were not getting paid. They were paying Barstool. So number one, the catalyst didn't really make sense. Why would that be a bullish catalyst? We could pay Barstool $3 million to pump MIC. It's nothing unique. It's nothing special. Had them had Barstool paid, that's, that's a totally different story. But here we are having a sell the new setup on a PR that's not even bullish, guys, right? Exactly right, man. And Bao and I were actually one of the first people to recognize this. Bao tweeted it out very, very early. We mentioned that, uh, that they were paying Barstool to do this. That was that. And then the first red day setup, guys, we have so many videos on this. It's very simple. I mean, uh, Tosh, let me post my chart so you guys could see. Uh, yeah, man, I'll pull it up. So you guys could see. I'll post, I'll post it on the website. So you guys could see what I did. Basically, guys, also, before you get into that chart, Tosh, I want you to show this real quick. Okay, one sec. Okay. This was the commentary that was posted um, earlier today, right? This was the commentary that was posted at 9.50 a.m. when the stock was around like $16. So we said, this was my plan. So my plan was I want to take a 10% starter under 15.50. I want to add another 10% if low they broke and then add the last piece when it went red. So this happened really fast, guys. This happened really fast. And a lot of people ask me, how I was able to uh, get my orders ready. And the key is guys that I prep my orders. So what you could do is you could have a separate level two box with your order prepped, with the price prepped, so that when that moment comes, you don't have to spend a couple seconds typing in your trade. You could just hit the button there. I'll tell, hey guys, I'll tell you a, a big secret tip. 
you can do it Alice way or you can do a stop sell. That's what I usually do. You can put a stop sell. That's like a stop loss, but you don't, but you're not in, right? So it, if you're not in, it shorts it for you. So you can say if it goes under, uh, so what's the rent of the day is $15. So $14.99. So you do a stop sell $14.99 and it'll trigger. It's like a fantasy oh. order. <laughs> exactly. It's a fantasy order, but it's on the, the sell side. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. So that's, this is, it was a big day guys. It was a big day because, um, it was a dead cat bounce that turned to a first red day that turned to a sell the news event that we found the pumpers tweets weren't working that we found that the stocks PR wasn't really that positive. This was something that I would say guys comes maybe once a year, uh, in terms of both the setups combining together, but had this been a normal first red day, it would have still paid out, you know? The thing I love about this, Alex, is like, dude, you know your strengths. We've seen them. I mean, trading closely to you for so long, but even members who've seen for the last three and a half years, bro, when these come around, you are not scared to bring the house. And for anybody who, because a lot of people ask, you know, hey, Alex, let's see the chart. How did you feel confident on this? Dude, when this slams red, Alex said it before, man, 1550 was the line. But if that snaps and red snaps, dude, Alex piles in, man. It's, it's a really simple strategy, man. And what's ironic is the simple strategy we have which is a first red day and especially when you have green light green light green light like all the pumps the failed pumps and like you talked about bro it's the most profitable and i love seeing you capitalize on this one every single time man because you've just gotten better and better over this one man seriously and we teach this yeah so someone asked a question why was shorting 1550 and red not a chase coming from 17 in my mind i'm thinking because it's a first red day and there was a lower high with a decent bounce Guys, on setups like this, if a first red day setup does not mean you short uh, the bounce, right? A first red day setup means that I short when it goes red. Yeah. And in this specific scenario, I didn't have an opportunity to add more because it halted down. But on a first red day setup, I'm not trying to short a 16 and then wait for it to go red. I'm shorting when it goes red because that is the signal that profit taking is going to happen. Yeah, so you don't, I, need to, you don't need to overcomplicate it and say, okay, it's a first red day setup. Because it's a first red day setup, I'm going to short the bounce. And then when it goes red, I get paid. That's wrong. That's not how it works. You get paid when it goes red, so short it when it goes red. Yeah, guys, you're mistaking this for a normal day-to-day -day play. This is one that comes around very rarely. So when it comes, the potential in range to make is so huge because it's a different psychological thing. This is to catapult a major sell-off. This is not something where, oh, it snaps, I cover on support, and then I'll reshort like Dow does at resistance, maybe 650 or 17. This is something where, dude, when the dominoes fall, the fucking avalanche of snow comes and kills the ski lodge. Like, Because remember, guys, there's no... Different. Yeah. Real bit. There's no real demand. There's no real reason for this to be up. So Correct. when the manipulator, when the algo, when the pumper, whenever the guy behind the scenes gets out, there's no more bid. Yeah. Very well said. Um, do you buy multiple locates for different stocks before market open? So I say this a bunch of times, guys, is I only locate starters and then I get more if I need it on something like that there's still 157,000 shares available at Cobra. You know what I'm saying? So like, it all depends on the setup. I don't think a lot of people, what they do is they go full size on locates before the market opens. They locate, locate, locate. And all of a sudden they can't make money because they paid so much in fees. For me guys, the only stocks that I pretty much located today were deep here. I'll show you, all right? I'll show you. I woke up very early today, guys. Uh, I woke up very early and I got a very, very, very cheap locate on DATS. Uh, and even then, guys, even then, there's still plenty available. So if I know for a fact that I am going to trade the stock and it's going to be in low availability, I'm 100% going to take whatever I want. But as a new trader that is still trying to figure out what they are good at, a new trader that's trying to figure out what they like to trade, if you go all in on locates, you're not going to make money. You have no idea what you're doing. For me, I'm very selective. So just because there was five stocks on the watch list, I didn't even locate the five stocks. I only located the stock that I knew that I was the most interested in. And if the other ones got to my desired levels, I would locate them. GWH was a top watch for me. It didn't get to my level, so I didn't even locate it, you know?
Exactly right. And look, guys, I mean, you know, it takes some sacrifice, right? It's like, oh, shit, wake up at 4 a.m. But when you want to wake up at 4 a.m. to make 150 grand, like, shit, it's like this takes some sacrifice, man. You're going to lose some sleep in this industry. I'm sorry to tell you. Yeah, but this is, guys, this is why you're in MIC, right? The reason why you are in MIC is so that you could learn from Bao that posted the plan, that the PR was kind of bullshit. So you could learn from this specific example of the exact trade thesis, the exact trade idea that was posted before so that you guys can understand what's going on, right? Alex, will you talk about your uh, con um, the consistency that we actually like statistically have proven with your watches? Do you want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, I mean, like, to be honest, guys, like, it's people think that we're bragging. People think that we're doing all this stuff, but the truth is numbers don't lie. You know, our watch lists have over an 85% win rate. So, I mean, if you guys are not using the watch just to your advantage, you are at a disadvantage, right? Um, was Xander, how come you didn't have starters in anticipation maybe after that stuff move? The only reason why I didn't have any starters in anticipation is because I didn't want to fuck this up, right? I didn't want to get in on the wrong side and then get stuck and then fuck up the trade. I only wanted to take the trade if it went red. If it did not go red, I didn't want to take the trade. Because that was my plan. My plan was first red day. My plan was not short into resistance. Short into resistance every fucking day didn't work on this stock. Guys, you guys are looking at after the fact, and it looks damn easy, but at that time, it's not that easy. Uh, they were pumping it still. Remember, they, they were holding this for almost half an hour, guys. It, didn't tank, it did not tank right off the bat. It actually went down and it squeezed up a dollar and 50 cents. So whoever anticipated this and guessed it wrong got killed. And then they would have stopped down the top. Let me show you the, the, the chart right now. Yeah, Bao, this is 45 minutes into the open at this point, and this could have squeezed all the way back. Take a look at that, guys. It, it topped down to 1550 and it spiked to $17. Yeah, dude, look at this shit. It's, it's not as obvious as you think. So you have to have a plan. The plan is, you know, there's two ways to plan, right? Alex does the right way, confirmation. If you had anticipated at fifteen fifty or even sixteen dollars and slammed everything you had, they spike up to seventeen. You just stopped out at the very top. Exactly right. Yep. Confirms, guys. Confirms. Don't anticipate. Wait for the confirmation. When this Tosh, goes great. Tosh, can you go to the video library and go to the video library search bar and type in two things? What's Number up? one, type in sell the news into the search bar. So people could find out how to find, sell the new setups. Sell the news. Okay. Hit enter. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Tesla, Apple. Sure. This is that's one specific video. But if you go back and show them uh, just hitting enter, it'll show all the other videos that come up with sell the news. Um, one sec. I think it went to an, hold on one sec. It did an actual thing. Sell the news. Yeah. All you have to do is write the setup in there. Yeah, it accidentally auto-filled for me. And then boom, you have all these videos. You have a YouTube live from me, you have a trading fish from Bao, and you have a video from Joe. I guarantee if you watch all three of those videos, the next time I sell the new setup comes, you're going to bank. Now go to the other one. Go to first red day. You're at least going to be ready for it, man. You're going to know what we're talking about. And guys, remember, you can actually even search these in the category section, but I'm just typing it in for you. And boom, you have like literally five pages of first red day. So for those that have watched the videos, for those that have watched not only the first red day videos, but the sell the news videos, this was crystal clear, clear as day, right? So people always ask me, how long does it take to become profitable trading? I mean, how long does it take you to go through these videos, right? To be honest, the people that watched these, the people that, okay, the last, the last sell the news setup was SPCE. And the people that didn't know that setup, after that day, they studied it, they studied it, they studied it. And then today, when it came up, they were ready and prepared. So for everyone that didn't study the sell the new setup for today, study it after today. And the next time it comes, you will be prepared, right? And this I, is uh, what you guys are So you study, but the thing is, always need to watch the market. Because even if you study and you see it, you may not understand what's going on. Sometimes it takes two times. So that's why you need screen time, guys. Hell yeah. Keep, keep, Keep watching it just because you watch it doesn't mean you'd be good at it. So when you watch it, start paper trading, start yep. to try to do something right. Guys, just don't just watch and think you could do it. It's like me trying to watch a video on how to throw a football and expect to fucking throw a football in the NFL. Right. 
No, a good example is I think Faye said she watched this three times over in the accelerated jumpstart before she even really started getting the results that she did. Like, it, dude, it takes multiple viewings, of course. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. And here's also another very, very key thing, guys, is I posted the watch list today at 8.48 a.m. So that gives you, if you really, really want it, it gives you probably a good 20 minutes to watch at least one video on a first red day. So if you see that's on my watch list, you see, can look for a first red day setup. If you don't know what a first red day setup is, to be honest, you could spend 20 minutes, watch one first red day setup video right before the market open. And I guarantee still do better than most people. You know what I'm saying? We, we, so we told them to watch it. We posted the videos. I posted it yesterday too, man. So that's the thing. Um, that so guys, okay, let's say you miss it, right? Let's say you miss all this stuff and it tanks down. Remember, Alex said, we always said, there's still plenty of meat on the bone. Take a look at my chart, man. If it goes down, you can still make another dollar, another 50 cents. As a new trader, it's not your job to make the entire four bucks of the move, right, guys? Your job is to make money trading. You're not, your job is not to be a hero like Alex and ride all the thing all the way down. You if guys you do walk about away with $200, if you walk away with $200, $500, $1,000, that's fucking great. Your job is not to ride the whole fucking thing down and make a million dollars. 1000%. You guys see what he did right here, right? Bow scalped all day, but he waited for his lines to be hit. That's the point. And we teach you how to do that as well. So uh, yeah, man, there's so many ways to, to milk this thing. Yeah. That's Any the question? thing with trading guys. You guys think, Oh, I missed a trade. I missed a trade. No, nah, dude. I mean, you, what is your objective? Is your objective trying to go for home run? That's why people get pissed off. Oh, I missed this trade. But no, there's just a lot of meat on the bone. What happens is when a stock tanks like this, there's going to be a dead cat bounce, okay? And it bounced already. It bounced like a dollar from 1150 to 1250. So there's your chance to, to trade that stock. And, but the thing also is this, it helps that we are shorting this and you see these, you see the pattern so that you do not go long on this day. Anybody went long on that day? I don't know what to tell you, man. You, got, you need to study more because this is not a setup where you should be going long. This is a blowout kind of setup where we're looking for the first red day. So if you're scalping on the long side, you're scalping on the wrong side of the trade right here, guys. That's exactly right. Gentil, because you're saying, you know, it's amazing how we made the bulk of the gains after this wash. This particular setup, brother, an FRD, a first red day, this is where the gains are made. It's not made in the first wash. It's made in this. So this is the stuff that you learn once you watch all the videos and stuff. Dude, it's not amazing. This is predictive. This is what we were actually gunning for, not this little stuff, this little reject, and then this tank. It's in here, brother. This is where the money's made. On also, Tosh, a good point is everyone that missed, the longs that missed the run-up from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, when they see this dip, they're like, oh, my God, I got to load up because the pumper told me 30 is coming. I'm yeah. getting this at a discount at 14 and 13. It's going to go to 30, but they fail to realize that they're buying on the backside day when everyone is profit-taking and everyone is attacking. So having an education, knowing what the hell you're doing and what day to trade it, is again why you guys are here and you guys are learning right you guys are learning even the, if you missed the first red day at least you didn't go long and blow up guys this is why you can still make money like bow did if you scroll up right here and see on these like on these little bounces is bow knows that these are where the people are averaging down and then getting even more fucked because they thought you know the pumper said it would go to 30 this is why there's still money to be made or aka what we call meat on the bone once this massive massive backside is in and it's not front side anymore and we know for a fact because it's such confirmed that people are not only underwater dude they are seriously underwater for selling pressure especially if they bought today and arguably yesterday if you pull out and kind of see the forest for the trees because after this major you know red slam even guys yesterday who were up six and you know five and seven dollars on their money etc etc are now down it gives them a re it gives everybody here a reason to sell let alone everybody in this volume packet that bought you know yesterday into the close into pre-market into intraday and let me tell you something tosh this thing is down 26 percent ssr is on and you know what, bro? I hope to fucking the stock market gods it bounces to 1250 or 13 tomorrow to now get a short into resistance setup because now it has confirmed. Now it is broken. Chances of it going back to 17 or even fucking 30 is slim to none. 
but you better believe a bounce towards 12 or uh, bounce towards 1250 or 13 tomorrow is once again a dead cap bounce that we could short into, hopefully if we get there. I knew you were going to be excited for that. I knew those were the next words coming out of your mouth, bro. <laughs> and then remember, bro, that just because you missed DATS, look at GWH, Tosh. Yep. So GWH was a stock that was moving yesterday that everyone fucking forgot about. Every single, what was the high of the day today, Tosh, that it hit 24 uh, up? Hold on one sec. Let me, let me go the exact set, dude. Intraday, it was literally 22.60. What about the free market? Free market, 24.17. Go to the watch list. Uh, one sec. Uh, watch list. Where's GWH? Ideally, a pop and rejection of 24 to 25 short in the morning. Let's take a look at where those lines are. Uh, what did you say? You said 24 and 25. I will literally draw them for you. 24 and 25. Exactly. And this is a stock, guys, that I personally missed. I missed this one because I was so focused on DATS. But this just goes to show you that even when there is one crazy, absolutely wild stock moving, I mean, shit, we still have plans on all the other stocks moving that were working pretty well. Because, guys, there's other things taking attention, you know? I mean, when you have, what was it, JSPR? Dude, when you JSPR. have shit like this taking attention away from a first red day where there's already a bunch of guns lined up. It's like the, it's like Jim Carrey in the mask suit when he's got all those guns lined up. Like, we're already waiting for first red day and low-hanging fruit. When you have this fucker taking all attention... Dude, this yep. I got to I gotta thank the pumpers today for GSP, JSPR. I have to, bro. But, because maybe without them, this first red day wouldn't have been as powerful as possible because all the longs might have dumped their dats to buy JSPR. And tomorrow, guys, tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen on this JSPR. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't care. Either A, I'm going to watch it and attack it, or B, if DATS pops. Like The point is, guys, that no matter what happens today, tomorrow when we show up, we're going to make a plan. And that plan we're going to stick to, and that's so, it. This is... So this is the plan I have tomorrow. Take a look at this. This, this is what you should do. You should look at the chart and based upon the lines. So obviously there's a $13 line, right? There's a pivot there as well. So I threw this chart and on top of that is the volume profile. So there's a ton of overhead supply at the $13 line. So what happens is, man, if it gets to 13, I'm, I'm hammering that thing. Probably Alex will as well. So there's so much overhead and there's all these resistance lines matching up. There's a pivot line there. There's every sort of resistance there. Exactly. I love that, dude. I love that. You guys see what Bow's talking about, guys? This is this green line um, that we both have on our charts. That's the 13 pivot line he's talking about, which are really, really effective on low-hanging fruit. And then simultaneously, let me just pull this arrow real quick, is what he's talking right here is this is where the bulk of the volume is on the volume profile. So if it gets up to that level, this is where people want to actually get out even on their position. When they're down on that motherfucker, when they're down on this position, they're like, dude, please, God, I'll pray to any God out there. Just let me get out even. So what happens when you couple, coupling factors of a resistance point, a pivot line, and the fact that it's broken, and the fact that the volume profile is lined up right there, what are you going to get? You're probably going to get a dead cap bounce and then massive sell-off again, because it's backside. We oh, now have 1250, to 12, 15, 13 is, is our goal tomorrow, but I don't yep. know if it's going to get there, but who knows, man? Hopefully it will. Um, it's obvious on the chart, right? So draw the chart. Yep. Um, yeah, this is the same concept as the death line concept. So take a look at videos on death line because at a certain point where it breaks, it's just game over, guys. And that's why, I mean, if, if you're not making money, at least you're not losing money. So so those guys that are long buys, if you didn't trade this on the long side, be very happy that you're learning something here. Because now, let, a, lot of people, a lot of people want to buy all the way fucking down. They lose their entire fucking life savings. And Bell, I should say this because you gave such wonder. I mean, we all did, but dude, you really spearheaded the warnings on this today. Guys, when this was trading at this time, we were warning about this stock. We were like, this is not a short. This is not a short. This is not a short. It's a hot chick. And then dude, I mean, literally we warned here, we warned here, and we warned here. Like, if you guys aren't in MIC to learn how to make money, you need to be in MIC to learn how to keep your money and not play the wrong things, but you're going to get both. So Bao did a really good job of scaring the room today into not losing all their money on the short side of JSPR because this was the hot chick taking attention away from all the shit you should have been hitting like Dats and GWH and things like that. So these are the things, man. It's not rocket science, as we say every single Wednesday. <laughs> hey, it's not rocket science. It's hard. It's harder than rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Unless you rocket get rocket science makes less, bro. <laughs> unless you're like bow and you get free freaking desk flown to your house. <laughs> like...
<laughs> oh shit, then everything's just easier. Me and Alex have a saying, Val lives in a simulation. <laughs> you gotta make a movie on Val's life, bro. Dude, it could be, it, it would be like a 10 part series. It would be XXX rated as well. Yeah, as the <laughs> it, would, it would be dirtier and longer than Lord of the Rings, dude. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's take, uh, let's take some questions. Do you have any questions? Yeah. You guys, any questions? Sorry if we skipped over any questions. We've just been on a real roll here to give you guys. So, more. like, once again, guys, I mean, this is this is one of those plays where for half an hour, no one knew what's going on. Um, you know, first red day, it didn't even fucking come, right? The red came at 1501. The, pre- the, the problem with the stock is very hard. Every stock has a little nuance to it. <clears throat> this CI last time, the red was way low. So, when it bounced off the SSR last time, whoever shorted down there died, right? So you always have to see how far the red line, the previous close, is from your current price. So in this case, that's previous close was fifteen oh one. It was a sixteen dollars, so it's not that bad. It's only a dollar up, right? So the moment it breached the first red day, went up to down only a dollar. It just bottoms out, right? But see, I remember last time was huge. So you always have to see where the previous day is for your first red day. If the first red, if this sucker had ran up to 1650 and uh, closed at 1350 yesterday, that would not be a good first red day play, right? Right. right. No. They would have already shown the weakness. We don't want that. We want those massive slams on the first red day day where you have time. Exactly, man. Exactly. Xander, I just said yesterday, right? 450, 13 bucks. <laughs> Someone will see tomorrow what's going on. Like I said, man, we, I'm, uh, you have to wait for the confirmation. So what's happening when the confirmation comes, you, you have chances to add. So you're not just adding, 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 right? So you, I'm picking lines. For these stocks, I'm, I'm usually doing 50 cents mental stops, meaning like 50 cent lines, like $12, $12.50, $13. Those seem to be working well for this stock. Someone just said on YouTube that uh, he's swinging short on – Dats. What tonight? Yep, S- still swinging short. What do you think? Well, that's, that's good for them. Depends on where they're at. <laughs> yeah, well, it depends on your average for sure. But just always be careful with swings, guys. Pay yourself something. You got to pay yourself. You're, you're stupid if you don't pay for yourself anything. That's just pure greed. You have Definitely. to take the cap off, guys. Definitely. We're not. You have no idea. This motherfucker can pump this shit again. <laughs> <laughs> now you finally got your food over there. Oh, I ate. I ate. I fucking. A foot long and a, a six inch. <laughs> Jeez, you can really handle a lot. You sure that's a sandwich, cuz? <laughs> I was like, dude. That's some dirty shit. I'm having, I'm having a, a subway orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, man. Oh, my God. You guys are crazy. Guys, okay, okay, any questions? Question. <laughs> that was good once you get to a foot long. <laughs> yeah, Bow gets hangry. I'm a, lo- I'm a so loving he- individual guy. <laughs> I love Bao Hangry, dude. It's fucking passionate. Uh, you can't fuck with Bao when he's hangry. I remember, do you remember when we were, I think it was Texas, bro. We were in Texas. We went, we had like this amazing steak dinner. We're like, oh, good. Everyone's full. We're like walking back to the hotel and Bao was like scoping out for a parfait somewhere. <laughs> bro, we literally stopped off at like one of those seven, I can't remember the name, but they're like those 7-Elevens in Texas. I think it was Wawa. Wawa. And dude, uh-huh. after a big ass steak dinner, Bao literally goes and gets a foot long sandwich. <laughs> you got a foot long sandwich. You go back to the hotel, the hotel lobby is buying a parfait, this, that. <laughs> We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's a bottomless pit, bro. He's a bottomless Bao knows how to eat, bro. I got a hand to Bao. Aside from trading, the guy could fucking eat and he eats really good. Dude, the only person I've ever been able to meet, like, meet that eat out meat, like, dude, is Bao. Like, dude, I thought I could eat a lot and frequent. Th- oh, my God, dude. I'd lose in a well, – you can eat God, That's why I'm fat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> fat but rich. <laughs> fat but rich. Crying your Ferrari, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, let's see who's watching us on YouTube. 149. Good. We got a little audience. Yeah, hopefully this helped you guys today, man. These are really good lessons. And if you learn this, man, you're going to have a profitable trading career. Like you I said, learn, the month learn, at the right time, man. Remember, guys, the first step is to learn the ideas, not necessarily learn to trade this for profit. Because the more time you see this, because 
You, at the real time, it's so fast that unless you're experienced, you don't know what the hell to do. You just, you know, the best way to do is we, we review what we talked about today, watch the videos from experience, uh, from, from previous plays. The, you have to see more than one play because each play is going to be a little nuanced, a little different, guys. If you're waiting for the same, same exact setup, like, like price for price, you're, you, you got it all messed up. That's why you cannot be too rigid. And it's like the it's like the coupling factors, right? Is Alex specifically sized maybe a little bit more in this one than he normally would on a first red day because of all the things that matched up? You know, the failed algo, the Twitter putt, like there were things that and and like pay bar stool, like what the oh, fuck? Oh shit, three thirty. Yeah, it's getting late. Oh shit, I didn't even fucking realize it. I gotta pull some waters off. <laughs> I was trying to pay for that. I was too on. busy eating, man. <laughs> I, I just still find it crazy, man, how like this whole PR and the pump was that they they paid Barstool. Maybe we should pay Barstool. Like, what the fuck? If we pay Barstool, it looks like our stock is going to tank. You know what it is, guys? <laughs> this is what I think. I think they got insider, this, this is what I think. I think they got insider information that they, they have a promotion with Barstool. The insiders, those fucking guys on Twitter did not fucking, did not uh, see that they paid Barstool. <laughs> I think it was, they thought it was the other way around. That's my guess. That is so funny, man. They can't be that fucking stupid, right? Or can they? I mean, you, you they pay can, someone bro. for they pay three million dollars for promotion. Is that fucking good news? I, I'm, I'm like, if I heard that, I want to invest in Barstool. <laughs> not, not in Barstool. Uh, yeah, it makes you want to go to Barstool, dude. <laughs> it's like, who's getting the money? Oh shit! So this that's is- the thing with inside information, guys. Just fucking that's karma, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they made money. They're telling everybody everything gravy. <laughs> All these guys, man, you don't know what they're fucking selling, dude. They, they, I'm pretty sure they fucking dump, and they're blaming other people and shit. So, definitely. And that's why I hate these pumpers, but it's okay. We make money off them. <coughs> so actually, I don't like them. I love them. <coughs> I hate the fact that they they think that you know. Anyways, I won't really <laughs> Rob goes Dave Portnoy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, that's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> that's really that's, that's hey, Dave. Day. If you if you're hearing, man, come on, at MIC, bro. <laughs> I'll bring you up right now. Let me know what other companies that pay you money. God, for real. Val, how do you have the men- mental energy to trade all day multiple stocks after two hours? I get a migraine from ticker SOF. Ticker soft. Passion, bro. Eat all day nonstop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat all day, man. That's the answer. <coughs> Guys, do you have any questions about what we explained on Dats Day? Are <coughs> being hot chick, anything like that? Yep, use volume profile. It's a, it's 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 a great indication of where the um, kind of air of the balloon is. So that's what I always kind of say. So use that shit. Three three. All right, what's going on, guys? You want to hear some jokes? What do you want to do? What do you guys want to hear, man? We're here. We got <coughs> wrap up early if you want. What do you guys want? <laughs> yeah, man. I didn't. I forgot. I, was, I didn't realize it was three thirty. When do the meme winners get announced? Still working on that. Yep. Just a few more weeks. <clears throat> do you ever combine first resistance with first red day to get in earlier, or is that too risky? Well, that's what I did. You just have to learn to match your size. <clears throat> yep, guys, let me show you Bow's chart earlier so you can see what he's talking about um, on that specific one on DATS. Yes, you see how Bow was hitting the first resistance earlier? Yes, you can. <clears throat> just know, though, just know, like Bow would say, is the majority of the size comes on the massive confirmations, not in, you know, over VWAP or like 30% <clears throat> like about with what Alex uses, right? So definitely. This this play was okay because uh, <clears throat> it kept hovering the VWAP and it had big resistance. So, but man, it was but when it hit seventeen bucks, I was like, "What the fuck happened?" It went down real, real quick. So whoever went all in got fucked up on the seventeen spike. That's why you gotta be careful because well, and so, and so more die. This is the thing, guys. <clears throat> There's many ways for a stock to die. It could just die right away with no tricks. In this case. It, it consolidated for half an hour and then it ramped up to $17. And 
And you're thinking, holy fuck. Actually, 17.29, dude. And you, so whoever's short thinking, I'm fucked. And so when it comes, you know what I'm saying, guys? <clears throat> so you have to see how there's a lot of different nuances of way worse. So if, you, if your size too much before the confirmation, you will get shaken up. Yeah, because yep. what if it goes to 19? Exactly. <clears throat> yep. That's exactly right. And guys, like there was someone on YouTube that said, you know, and this could have squeezed to 1850. Of course it could have. That's why you do what Alex did. So when you're like, hey, is that a chase entry? Dude, it's not. When 1550 and 15 broke and it goes red on the day, that's what this setup is entailed. That's what we're looking for. The majority of the tank is under these levels. So that provides the domino effect and avalanche of selling pressure. That's what you're waiting for. That's not a chase on this particular And the thing is, setup. it could have gone to 1850. It could have had a midday offering. They could have been convicted of fraud. They could have cured cancer. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. All that matters is the price action and the setup. We could create scenarios for every single possible thing that might have happened. But at the end of the day, there's only one outcome, and that's what we had. Correct. And how did we get there? By <clears throat> with clear confirmations. Bingo. This stuff is too good to be given out for free, man. You know, I'm, I'm glad we got rid of the monthly. I'm glad we only have annual and lifetime now because this trade for me paid for 10, 20, 100 lifetimes of MIC guys. So, I mean, I promise you guys that MIC is the right place to learn. I promise you that if you guys give us a chance, you will learn how to make money. But just like a gym membership, just because you have it doesn't mean you're going to get jacked in a week. You still have to go to the gym, you know? I have a gym at my place. <laughs> well, Bao has made enough money to own his own gym. So If, if Bao worked out as much as he ate, dude, he would look like Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's I funny. do. <laughs> Without the muscles. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Dude, speaking of which, I heard... Dwayne guys, you, you, see, you see our step-by-step -step procedural, systematic, same shit every fucking time setup. We have videos on this. It proves that our system works. And other people are right now are learning from it. So. Exactly. So, so get ahead of the curve and learn it first before other people learn it. Yep. And if you guys are new or you guys want to learn... This is not luck, guys. Yep. This is not luck. Guys, I think that's it, man. I think we should probably just wrap up early. I, I think, think so too. I, I, guys, short guys, sweet. I'm just writing this on YouTube really quick, but for anybody who's interested about pricing or you have any questions about membership, just text my business line, man. 213-458-5997. Yeah. I'll handle all that. Yeah, but text us 213-458-5997. Yeah. If you guys can't afford the annual, we might work on a case-by-case -case payment plan system for you, but there's absolutely no chance of monthly coming back no chance of coming here for a month. If you want to learn, sign up for the year and you will learn how to make your yearly membership every single day. And, and guys, let me just save your time on the begging. Please don't beg for the monthly to come back or beg me to get in. We gave three weeks where we told you day by day on every pot. So the guys, oh, I just missed it. I was waiting for the first guys. No, man. Fuck. No. There's Plus this webinar itself, bro. This webinar, <laughs> next time something like this happens about... No more free fucking webinar, bro. We'll keep it for all the members. We'll make it a trading fish. I agree. Yeah, it's, it's too big, man. <laughs> yeah, I was almost scared man. to click. Dude, well, Alex, when you said you were coming on today, I was a little too scared to record because I knew you were going to give away the farm and information. No, it's good that you recorded, bro, because people see that this is actually legit. But exactly. other than that, man, I think it's time to relax, bro. I'm a little bit tired. I know you guys are a little bit tired. So let's get back to it. Let's do it, man. Guys, we'll see you in after hours, man, which is right here. And if you have any questions about becoming a member today, just text my business line, guys, and we will see you in the club. Post, post, you, your, stick, post your stick <laughs> photos in after hours. <laughs> see you, guys. See you, Val. See you, Alex. See you, guys. Bye. Bye.